Hello again Year 2s, welcome back to another brand new week of exciting maths learning. Hope you're all well and staying safe. Just wanted to say on behalf of Miss Pope and I that we are loving receiving your work and seeing your emails. It's keeping us happy and sane at home. So thank you so much. It's lovely to see uh, that you're all doing well and, and keeping in touch with us is helping us too. Okay, so we're going to start this week with new learning in maths. We're going to move on from picture graphs. We're going to begin a new chapter on money. So grab those journals, grab your learning partner and come back and we'll begin. Okay, here we've got a lovely and focused task and laid out in a beautiful way are some coins and some notes. Okay, so what I'd like you to do before we even begin anything is to pause the video and tell me what this symbol means and what this symbol means when you are using money. Okay, what does this mean and what does this mean? Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll have another discussion. So pause the video, talk to your learning partner and come back. Okay, welcome back. Um, we were asking before the video was paused, what does this symbol mean? And here we say that this symbol represents pounds, or the pound, it means the pound symbol. Okay, the letter P is also a symbol which represents pence and it is a unit of measure. So both this symbol, the pound symbol and the letter P are symbols which represent units of measure to measure money. Okay, I've got another question for you. Which do you think is the largest unit of measure? Is it the pound or is it the pence? Which one is worth more? Pause the video, talk to your talk partner. Okay, and whilst you're back, just wanted to say the largest unit of measure, or what, which the, the, the symbol or the measure which is worth more is the pound okay the pound is more worth more than a penny now just by pausing the video again can you point to your uh, to the screen and tell your partner which is a five pence coin could you show them a five pound note okay could you show them a one pound coin or a 20 pence coin or a 20 pound coin, which one do you think is worth more? Okay, just have a little think about that and we'll move on after you come back. Brilliant. Again, here I've got the coins laid out and I've got the symbols written under them. Okay, so I've got the one pence here, I've got its symbol and I've got it written in words. But this task I'd like you to become amazing noticing bush babies okay we really need you to open your eyes and have a look carefully at the coins and you're going to complete the table that I have already begun below so for instance I've got the coin one pence I've written its name one pence I've also written its symbol how you represent it when you're writing it one pence P with the letter P next to it, so the digit one and the letter P next to it. And then in the last column, I've written its description. So I've thought about its color, shape, and size, and I've said it's bronze in material, it's circular coin, it's small in size, it's the tiniest coin. So you're going to complete a table in your journal for all these coins, okay? And when we come back, we will move on. So pause the video and have a go at that. Now, once you've finished the previous activity of completing the table, that's going to really help with this one. And this one's quite fun and I really like doing it. So what you're going to do is work with your learning partner and you're going to play Guess the Coin. Okay, so for this game, you will need one of each of the coins that we saw in the previous slide. Um, 
and what you might need to do is one of you is going to close your eyes so for example if your partner is going to choose a coin you can't peek you can't have a look so you're going to close your eyes you're going to leave the room short for a short amount of time while they make their choice when they choose their coin they're going to hold it in their hand and not show it to you or they're going to hide it behind their backs and they might want to magpie some of your notes that you made from your table earlier on if they want to uh, describe the coin to you. They're going to describe the coin as, uh, uh, using the, the colour, the shape or its size. Okay, It might have two colours. It might just have one colour. You, It might have a few sides to it. So have a go at asking them to describe the coin to you and then you're going to guess it and you can make some notes as they're describing it or you could even have a sneaky look at your notes as well but try not to cheat um, then you're going to swap and you're going to be the person choosing a coin and describing uh, it to them okay and then ask them did they get it right did you get it right when you were having a guess okay so i hope you have fun doing this one so pause the video and have a go this week we've got some extra challenges for you okay rather than a worksheet so for the first challenge we are going to think about coins that we do not have okay so for example i do not have a three pence coin so I'm going to use my part part whole model and make it up using some coins that I already have. So I can use a 1p coin and a 2p coin to make up 3p or 3 pence. I could use 1 pence, 2 pence to make up 3 pence. Could you find another way of doing this or could you also find um, another amount that we don't have? For example, we don't have 6p or six pence could you make that up using uh, the part part whole model this is your extra challenge number two you're going to match the cards with equal values okay so you're going to choose a card and you're going to match it to its equal value pause the video so you can have a closer look and have a go this is extra challenge number three so dora says all coins are round do you agree with her or do you disagree with her? Justify your answer, write it down and ex or explain it to your learning partner. Okay. Extra challenge number four, which coin is the odd one out? Okay, so we've got 20p, 8p, 2p, 10p, which one is the odd one out and why? Okay extra challenge number five the tooth fairy left some money for two children Jack over here had 50 pence and Mo over here had one pound Jack thinks he has more money because his coin is physically bigger explain to your learning partner why Jack is wrong why is Jack wrong do you think he is wrong? Okay, so explain to them why why he might be wrong. Why did he get it wrong? So pause the video and have a go at doing your challenges. And then email us, tell us what you thought about those challenges. And we would love to hear from you. So until then, take care then. Bye bye.